11 Houston, uh, the, uh, the definition is uh, pretty good on our monitor here. The color is not too uh, varsity, at, le at least on this set. Uh, could you describe what you're uh, looking at, over? Uh, Drew, you're seeing Earth. It's uh, we see it uh, at our left-hand window. It's a little more than a half Earth. Uh, we're looking at the... Uh, the eastern Pacific Ocean and the north half of the top half of the screen uh, we can see uh, North America, Alaska, United States, Canada, Mexico, and Central America. South America becomes invisible just off beyond the Terminator or inside the shadow. You can see uh, the oceans with uh, a definite blue cast. See white bands of major cloud formations across the Earth. And in the coastlines, they got uh, the western U.S., San Joaquin Valley, the Sierra Mountain Range, the peninsula of Baja California and you can see some cloud formations over uh, southeastern U.S. There's one uh, definite uh, mild storm southwest of Alaska. It looks like about uh, 500 to 1,000 miles. And another uh, very minor storm showing uh, the south end of the screen near the... Uh, oh, a long way south of the equator, probably uh, 45 degrees or more south latitude. Pick out uh, the ground, the browns uh, in the land farms pretty well. The greens do not show up very well. Uh, some green showing uh, along the uh, northeastern, northwestern coast of the United States and uh, northwestern coast of Canada. Radio world, hold on to your hand. I'm going to turn you upside down. Uh, 11, that's a pretty good roll there. Uh, that's pretty sloppy, sorry. Let me try that one again. You'll never beat out the Thunderbird. I'm making myself seasick on it, Charlie. I'll just put you back right side up where you belong. Roger. 11 uh, Houston, uh, if you could uh, comply, we'd uh, like to see uh, some smiling faces up there. If you could give us some interior views, I'm sure everybody would like to uh, see you over. Okay, we'll uh, reconfigure the TV for that. Roger. That's big Mike Collins there. Well, you got a little bit of... Yeah, hello there, sports fans. You got a little bit of me, plus Neil's in the center couch, and Buzz is doing the camera work this time. Uh, Roger. Well, I put on a coat and tie if I'd known about this ahead of time. Is uh, Buzz holding your cue cards for you, over? Cue cards have a no. We have, we have no intention of competing with the professionals, believe me. We are very comfortable up here, though. We do have a happy home. Uh, there's plenty of room for the three of us, and uh, I think uh, we're all learning to find our favorite little corner to uh, is very comfortable, but uh, after a while you get to the point where you sort of get tired of rattling around and banging off the ceiling and the floor and the side, so you, uh, you tend to find a little corner somewhere and put your knees up or something like that to wet yourself in, and that seems more at home. Houston, Roger. Slowly sinking into the sack there.
Apollo 11, Houston, uh, could you give the folks a, a view of your uh, patch if, uh, uh, on your CWGs, over? Sam Ryan with Charlie, we're trying to give you a close-up. All right. Mm -hmm. 11, uh, Houston, uh, we have the patch. Uh, could you attempt to prove the focus slightly over? Houston, the scan on the camera uh, makes the, uh, uh, that's a little bit better now. The uh, flashlight seems to flicker uh, due to the scan on the uh, TV. We can't see the eagle. Uh, now that's a, a little bit better, over. Could you open the F-stop uh, a little bit more, over? Houston, uh, the color is uh, better now. It's coming in. Uh, we could uh, attempt a little bit better focus on it. Uh, uh, there we go. And focus is uh, a lot better now. We see the eagle uh, coming right in on the lunar surface. Over. Uh, that's very good now. Houston, that's very good now. We can see the Earth in the background, Apollo 11, and the Eagle coming in. Probably pretty hard to see the olive branch. Uh, Roger, it is. Well, that's what he has in his talent, is an olive branch. Copy. Houston, uh, we're really impressed with the clarity and the detail that we have in the picture. The, the colors are, uh, and it's a really an excellent picture now that I'm looking at on our monitor, which is about 12 seconds before the uh, networks uh, can uh, get it out due to the uh, conversion that we have here on our TV converter. The, uh, we're looking at the uh, uh, controls in the display, the main display console, and we can see the uh, disky uh, up on the, the panel, over. Uh, it appears that uh, can't quite
can't quite tell what program. Uh, we look like we're in poo. Uh, we see you punching in uh, a verb uh, 35, I think it is. Over. Yeah, I might as well uh, tell the ECOM or tell the GNC and everybody to hold out their hat and I'll push the enter button. Right. That we see a real display now. That's a good demonstration of how our crew has the interface with the computer talking to the uh, programs and all that we have in the computer. Well, that's right, Charlie. Sometimes he tells us things and sometimes we tell us things and mostly it talks to us. This is Apollo Control. That uh, TV transmission uh, lasted about uh, 35 minutes. Hello, Apollo 11, 
Houston, over. Go ahead, Houston, Apollo 11. Uh, Roger, Buzz. Uh, the attitude that we're in right now is a convenient one to start PTC in. We'd be satisfied with this attitude. So we'd like you to disable quad Charlie and Delta and we'll wait about five to ten minutes and then we'll establish the PTC over. Roger, disable Charlie and Delta and we'll wait uh, for starting PTC. Roger. This is Apollo Control at uh, 34 hours, 46 minutes. Apollo 11 is presently 131,000 nautical miles from Earth, traveling at a speed of about 4,300 feet per second. During the uh, TV transmission, the crew advised that uh, they may possibly be able to take the color television camera into the lunar module with them tomorrow at about 56 hours, 30 minutes ground elapsed time. Uh, they reported that the cables had been checked and appeared to be long enough to uh, take them into the uh, lunar module. During the next hour or so, the uh, activity here in Mission Control will be uh, revolving around getting the crew set up for their rest period and eat period. Uh, this will be a very long rest period tonight, scheduled 10 hours. And that uh, will begin uh, according to the flight plan at about 37 hours ground elapsed time. Uh, however, we would anticipate if uh, activities move along as they appear to be at this point, we are somewhat ahead of the flight plan that uh, perhaps again tonight we would be able to get the crew into their rest period and uh, sleep period a little bit early. At uh, 34 hours, 48 minutes, this is Apollo Control, Houston. This is Apollo Control at 35 hours, 13 minutes. Uh, Apollo 11 is presently about 93,265 nautical miles from the moon. And uh, with respect to the moon, it's traveling at a speed of about 4,000 uh, 19 feet per second. At this time, we are receiving the uh, tape playback, which Goldstone, the tracking site at Goldstone, California, received uh, from the spacecraft uh, in that earlier unscheduled TV transmission.
trying to take it back to the old attitude that uh, we had started up in a number of hours ago. That's why we picked up the rates in the other axes. Uh, we're going to wait in this attitude for about 20 minutes to damp out the rates again, and then we'll proceed with the uh, for 49 and the lo and load our attitude that we have at the time at this time over. Okay, sounds good, Charlie. When you get to uh, the ver 49, uh, I'd like for you to give me the three gimbal angle that you want loaded. The Roger, we will do over. And Apollo 11, Houston, we have your flyby pad if you're ready to copy over. Stand by one. Now, Houston, Apollo 11, is that the P-30 pad? That's affirmative, over. Okay, ready to copy. All right, bud. It's flyby is the purpose. STS GNN six two eight one five plus zero nine or seven minus zero two zero zero seven zero five four. Five niner four four minus zero 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 two eight plus zero 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 two three plus zero 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 six niner zero two niner one four niner three one two apogee is in a plus zero zero two two one zero 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 seven eight zero zero one zero 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 three four Sexton star zero one two one eight five two two seven foresight star is in a in a in a latitude is minus zero two six five minus one six five zero zero one one eight niner niner three six two two eight one four four five six four seven in the comments your set stars are Denup and Vega zero zero seven one four four zero six eight no ullage it's a docked burn using the ptc rest mat stand by for your read back over okay would you give me a ged of uh, point oh five g again please uh roger one four four five six four seven over Roger, fly by SAS GNN 
1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-
Hello, Apollo 11, Houston. McDonald's got the laser turned on. Would you take a look? Over. Okay, Charlie. It's bluish green. Eleven Houston, we got some shaft and trunnion for you that might uh, tweak it up a little bit. Uh, shaft of one four one point five, trunnion of three nine or point five over. Okay, Cameron. Apollo eleven Houston, if you see it, it should be coming up. Appear to be coming up through the clouds. Uh, McDonald reports that there's a break in the clouds that they're beaming this thing through, over. Roger. Oh, Apollo 11, Houston, you can terminate the exercise on the laser. Our rates are steady enough now for to commence the PTC, over. Okay, Houston, uh, neither Neil nor Mike can see it. Uh, incidentally, those shafts and trillions, uh, uh, just missed pointing at the world. Roger, thank you. As, as we uh, are looking at it through the uh, scanning telescope, it would be about a, oh, maybe a third of an Earth's uh, radii high and to the left. Roger. But we did, but we did identify the El Paso area and it appeared to us to be a break in the clouds there, and we looked in that break and saw nothing. Roger, thank you much, Al. Houston, Apollo 11, over. Roger, go ahead, over. When you following that on the disky? Roger, stand by. Eleven, Houston. Uh, what's your exact question? Over. Well, I follow the procedure uh, through step seven down to the point where I got twenty-seven three zero three enter, and this resulted in an operator error light. Roger, stand by. Apollo 11, Houston, stand by a moment. We'll have an answer for you momentarily, over. Okay, appreciate it, Charlie. Now the light's gone out without any further disc action. Roger. Oh, correction. Stand by, that's not so. Roger.
it, it appeared to us that we attempted to load the erasable prior to entering on the uh, the Verb 49, which uh, Verb 49 was uh, still running and it clobbered the uh, CDUs over. Okay. Houston, it looks great to us now, over. Yeah, it looks fine here, Charlie. The uh, 710 part, the only part I uh, uh, don't find explained yet. Uh, Roger, Mike. We're working on that one right now. We're coming up with a story soon, over. Thank you. Houston, we're heading over to Tom to uh, Gold, uh, correction from Goldstone to Honeysuckle, over. Okay. Control. Uh, at the present time, we are handing over from the tracking site at Goldstone, California, to the uh, site at Honeysuckle, uh, which accounts for the uh, noise in the transmission. I've got uh, it's been Omni D, Omni, uh, track to manual, and uh, B Y. Uh, pitch, uh, you better say that again, y'all, 270, over. Roger, Buzz. I broke up that uh, pitch minus five zero and beam wide. Over. Roger, copy.
numbers on task report, et cetera. Say again, over. Roger, are you ready to copy the numbers on uh, status report, et cetera? Roger, go ahead, over. Okay, radiation CDR 11005, DMC 10006, LMC 09007, medication negative, and I got some battery and uh, oxygen number for the Go ahead, over. Battery C, 37.1, pyro battery A and B, both 37.1. RCS Alpha A2, Bravo A4, Coca A5, Delta A7, over. Roger, we copy radiation 11005, 10006, 09 007, no medication, 37.1, 37.1, 37.1, 37.1, 37.1.
And this is Apollo control at uh, 36 hours, 11 minutes. The present time Apollo 11 is about 134,000 nautical miles from Earth. The velocity is 4,216 feet per second. And during that last series of transmissions from the crew, uh, we received a status report from Buzz Aldrin. And he reported that uh, the crew has, uh, in the past 24 hours, taken no, medi no medication. Uh, this is uh, similar to the crew status report that we received from them last night. Uh, we bid them good night at uh, 36 hours, 9 minutes, or about 2 minutes ago. Uh, we anticipate that uh, the crew will uh, probably have a few more housekeeping type chores aboard the spacecraft before they actually turn in. Uh, and also we'll probably be uh, combining their eat period uh, with the first part of that sleep period. At 36 hours, 12 minutes into the flight of Apollo 11, this is Mission Control, Houston. This is Apollo Control at 36 hours, 27 minutes. We have completed the processing of the unscheduled television transmission which the crew uh, sent down from the spacecraft at about 30 hours, 24 minutes ground elapsed time this evening. Uh, I would like to repeat that this uh, was an apparent test of the uh, onboard system. Uh, the crew turned the television equipment on, left it on for about 52 minutes. Uh, some of the time we will have a picture, other parts of it we don't have good lock on and uh, will not have a good solid picture. We should also point out that uh, this transmission was made with the omnidirectional antennas, which of course don't provide nearly the signal strength that we would get from the high gain antenna, uh, which would be used. And we'll uh, play back the uh, tape of that transmission for you at this time.
Okay, I'm throwing them a disky, and I'd like to know whether they can read uh, what's showing on the disky, and also whether they can see uh, P R O G B E R B and N O U N over. All right, stand by a second. Goldstone, M-O, Houston, Capcom, over. Capcom, Goldstone, go ahead. All uh, right, did you copy the uh, base draft request? Uh, that's affirmative. I am reading the numbers on our monitor here. Okay, that's uh, Simmons. All right, that's both the uh, the numbers on the disk itself and the uh, little words like uh, program. Uh, verb, noun, computer, activity, things of the sort. Uh, Roger, I can read the numbers uh, clearly. Uh, we can't distinguish what the words are because it is a little snowy. Uh, Roger. Thank you. Okay, I read verb, noun, and program. Uh, Roger, uh, do you see the... Uh, over in the left-hand corner, there's a big square one. It says computer activity, comp activity. Uh, Roger, I see a flash occasionally in that area. Right, that's the one. Okay, it looks like he's moved the camera at this time. Roger. Uh, 11, this is Houston. Goldstone m &O, uh, reports that they can read the numbers on the disk. Uh, they can also read the verb, noun, program, and uh, see the comp activity light flashing. Over. Very good, thank you. And they also report that you appear to have uh, panned the camera over to another location now. Yeah, we're going to work on something else. All right, good. And we seem to have a fairly good view here of the uh, interior of the command module. This would look to be the uh, panel, the dis display panel with some of the uh, fuel quantity dials on the right side of the cockpit. At the time these uh, television pictures were transmitted from the spacecraft, Apollo 11 was about 121,000 nautical miles from Earth. Where we do have uh, good signal lock on, we got amazingly good quality from those little on the antennas. As we've mentioned before, normally the high gain antenna would be used for a television transmission of this sort. We could almost make out a face in that one. And uh, somebody's hand uh, down at the instrument panel. That last view just before we lost uh, picture lockup uh, appeared to be the right center portion of the main display console, main display panel in the command module. Uh, for a brief moment there, we had a picture of a somewhat placid uh, Neil Armstrong closing his eyes momentarily. Uh, another crewman to his left, I'm not sure at this point that I can make out who it was, it did appear, uh, it might have been Mike Collins. Yes, the ball up. Go ahead, 11. Hello, Charlie, is that you? Uh, that's me, how are you there? Oh, just fine, how's the old white team today? Uh, the old white team's uh, bright-eyed, bushy-tailed, uh, we're ever alert down here. Ever alert, special. Hey, you got any uh, medics down there watching hard rate? I'm uh, trying to do some running in place down here, and I'm wondering, just out of curiosity, whether it breaks my heart rate up. Uh, well, they will spring into action here momentarily, stand by. That was Mike Collins commenting that he was doing some running in place exercises. And we may get a brief view of that a little later on in this uh, transmission. The picture stabilizes and holds still for us. Hello, Eleven. Uh, we see your heart beating. Okay, well, look at, look at the CDR and the CMB shifting weapon. We're all running in place up there. You wouldn't believe it. I'd like to see that site. Why don't you give us a TV picture of that one? I think that's great. You got it. Okay, it's coming in a ghost though, Buzz. I guess for a set, uh, we don't have it here in the center. Get 
can help out the I don't know if it's a vibration or what it is, but uh, it makes the uh, engine yaw rate needles on FDAI number one jump up there a little bit when we jump up there. All right. All right, uh, don't throw this pretty thing you're running there, uh, Mike. Okay. That's what he's running from.
Houston, uh, please select uh, Omni Bravo on board, Owen. Take on the Bravo, Johnny. Right. How's everything going down there? You guys happy with spacecraft systems? Roger. Affirmative. Everything's looking uh, really good to us. Over. Okay, same here. This is Apollo Control. Uh, that concludes the uh, replay of the test transmission from Apollo 11. Uh, that transmission uh, occurred about two hours prior to the regularly uh, scheduled TV transmission this evening. Uh, the crew apparently testing out the onboard system. Uh, we received about uh, 52 minutes of uh, intermittent television using the spacecraft omnidirectional antennas. And as you can see, it's particularly near the end. Uh, this is just appears to be just about the limit of television reception from the Omni antennas. At the time of the uh, transmission, Apollo 11 was about 121,000 nautical miles from Earth. 
during the replay of that uh, television transmission, uh, we accumulated a very short amount of tape, uh, one or two brief uh, comments from the crew uh, who are in their sleep period at this time. Uh, we'll play back that uh, tape conversation for you now. This time, Apollo 11 is uh, 137,219 nautical miles from Earth. Uh, the spacecraft is traveling at a speed of 4,132 feet per second. Uh, here in Mission Control, uh, things have settled down into a rather quiet nighttime routine. Uh, we said goodnight to the crew at about 36 hours, uh, 36 hours, 9 minutes to be exact, uh, a little over an hour ago. We did hear from them uh, once or twice since then. And we anticipate that uh, at this time they are probably uh, getting settled down to begin their 10 hour sleep period. At uh, 37 hours, 21 minutes, this is Apollo Control. <laughs> 